Hey, I don't know if you know, but George W. Bush is an artist, right? So here's some of uh, here's some. He published a book. George W. This is from the Business Insider. They tweeted this out. You always know they're important. They have a blue check. George W. Bush is publishing a book of his strangely beautiful paintings. And there's they put there. There's some of the paintings there. They are strangely beautiful. They are strangely beautiful. Like there is something to, to having a talent to paint. I can't draw even a stick figure. I don't. I have none of that. I can't draw. I'm, I can't visually do things. But look. So there's actually obviously some kind of a gift that George Bush actually does possess for drawing or painting or whatever. I think. What do you think? It's not bad. I mean, it, it's. Uh, yeah. It, it's. I couldn't do that. Okay. I, I mean, could. if. I mean, if if a high schooler brought that into me and showed it to me, I'd be like, "Good for you." Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah. I mean, they look good. Bad. I'm not a. I'm no art critic. I just know. I'm not either. I mean, I. You know. It looks good. That this guy looks like Zimmerman a little. I was thinking that too. I was like, "Who is that?" I mean, that that that's Chris Pratt, right? The the guy to the that, far. I think this looks like Chris Pratt. But this is. But the important part here. It's not how pretty George Bush's paintings of people are, or how well done they are. But Abby Martin tweeted out, and I think this really captures what we all feel about George Bush's paintings. As she tweeted out, she said, so nice that war criminal George Bush is able to chill, paint and sell books of art instead of rot rotting solace behind bars where he belongs. Yeah, I think that she nailed it. Yep. That's I a, think she nailed it. That captures my feeling about the photo of him and Michelle canoodling during the selfie. George, oh, right. Did you see the picture of them at some event where they were with the Obamas? Yes, yes. And they're just having a great time, you know. They're, they're hugging, just, they're goofing around. he just around. looks so happy. And mm -hmm. you know that motherfucker falls asleep real easy. Real easy, oh, yeah. George Bush He's falls asleep. He's the kind of guy that smiles sunset. and dances at a funeral. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at the Dallas Cop <laughs> yes. Memorial. We did a video on that. He's smiling and dancing at, at literally at a funeral. The fact that George Bush has freedom is why we should not salute the flag. If, if the American flag meant something, George Bush would be in fucking prison. That's a great point. Yes, so that's the problem, right? Ever since Nixon, we don't prosecute our elite. Now the elite includes anybody who works for a bank in America. So nobody gets prosecuted anymore if you work for a bank or a huge corporation or if you're a politician. No, no, no. That guy, the Wells Fargo guy, he had to write a check. <laughs> Or yeah. no, they took it out. Direct, they took he's it back. Give, he's given forty one million dollars back. And he's supposed to walk <laughs> away with about two hundred. Yeah, I know. I mean, what do you, after ten million dollars, what the rest is just alimony. What, what what are you doing with that money? How how many you can only live in one house at a time. Yes. It's not a punishment if nothing changes. If nothing in your life changes, if you have two hundred million dollars and you get rid of forty one million dollars, nothing changes. You have the exact same life. Noth that's what I don't understand about these guys who need all this money. Right. Why do you need all this money? Like, why do these guys need, I need a half a billion dollars or a billion dollars? Like, if you have a billion dollars or two billion dollars, your life is exactly the same. Yeah. Well, they trickle it down, Jimmy. I mean, they, they trickle it down and create jobs. It's all, well, I mean, I mean, all, it's all Darwinian <laughs> status. Sport, it is. It's all that, me, alpha, me win contest. Yeah. Me, better person. Yeah. And, and Trump's the embodiment of that. But the George Bush, that, that, that makes me so angry that that guy got away with it. It does make me angry. that So none of those people who, who, who did an illegal war on purpose, we know that, it, and that's the whole thing, right? The, uh, the prospect for a new American century, that's what it was called, right? The project yeah. for a new American century. So those, so those were all the neocons getting together in the early 90s. And exactly what they did in the Middle East, they had planned to do. We need something, a reason why we can invade the Middle East and remake it in our image. We want to remake the Middle East in our image. Yeah. And uh, that's what they did. They used 9-11 and uh, uh, to go ahead and do an illegal war in Iraq. Everybody mm -hmm. knew it. Hillary Clinton went along with it with a lot of Democrats, which is why people don't support Democrats. Right. We get it. They're it's their their corporate light. They're Republican light. So we need a party in America. Wall Street has two parties. The American people deserve to have one. So that's why I'm voting for Jill Stein.